In this video, I'm going to talk about the flow of blood in the heart. So remember that there are four chambers in the heart. I'm going to start with the right atrium. So let's go ahead and start with blood flow here. So they're going to come in through the superior, superior vena cava, which is the blood coming from the regions above the heart, so like our head, and then the inferior vena cava, which is coming from below inferior the heart so like our legs and then these are going to carry deoxygenated blood so here and they're going to go into the right atrium so these are deoxygenated you can think of the right atrium as the R standing for needing to reoxygenate this blood because there's no oxygen so we need to and we need to get it to the lungs so it can be reoxygenated and used again in our body. So it's going to flow from the right atrium. We're going to go through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. That's going to contract and it's going to push the blood through the pulmonary semilunar valve into here, which is called the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. And from here, we need to get this uh, this blood to the lungs so it can be oxygenated. So here we're going to go through these two branches to the lungs where it can be oxygenated. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color to red to indicate that we have now been oxygenated. This is where gas exchange occurs and so it's going to filter out um, carbon dioxide and give it um, oxygen that we need. From here, it's going to go into these four. These are called, over here too, are called pulmonary veins. And just a quick note, the arteries always mean away from the heart. So here the pulmonary artery is carrying blood away from the heart. And the veins are going to be to the heart. So we're carrying blood to the heart here. And in these, from the pulmonary veins, is going to go into the left atrium and uh, you can kind of remember this one left atrium L being uh, like let's go the blood is kind of you know ready and pumped ready to go to the body because it's oxygenated so we have oxygenated blood going through here the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricles through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta which is also an artery and so from here Blood flows to all these different branches on the aorta, and it's going to go to all the different places on our body um, because those cells need oxygenated blood. And so from there, it's going to go to the body for the body's needs. And then once it gets to the body, it's going to be deoxygenated because those cells have taken up that oxygen, and eventually those are going to lead back to the inferior and superior vena cava where they are once again deoxygenated and then we're just going to repeat this whole process again from the uh, right atrium again through this whole blood flow cycle so we can go to the lungs to be oxygenated and then going back to the heart and then through the body and this repeats and repeats and repeats and then one quick note as a reminder um, the right side of this heart, so right atrium, right ventricle, this deals with deoxygenated blood, so blood that does not have oxygen. And then the left side deals with oxygenated blood, so the left atrium and the left ventricle. Alright, thanks for watching this video.